Hey everyone, welcome to Trucking Sustainably. I'm your host, Jason Morgan. We are at ATA mc and &E in Nashville, and we're talking about artificial intelligence. In fact, everyone at the show seems to be talking about artificial intelligence. Volvo Trucks North America just made an announcement that their blue contract service adapted maintenance plans are now AI powered. We're going to talk with Magnus Gustafsson, Vice President of Connected Services here at Volvo Trucks North America, to get an inside look at what it means and how it impacts sustainability. Let's check it out. Magnus, great, great to see you. Thanks for taking the time. So you have AI-powered adaptive maintenance now in your Volvo Blue contract service. Can you tell me how, about this evolution? How is this different from the adaptive maintenance when you first announced it here about a year ago, last February in 23? So it's, it's very similar, right? We made some more enhancements on the back end. We've also we've gone away from this kind of traditional how we... Uh, bucketize, if I call it that, trucks in normal, heavy, and severe duty. So we have many more, uh, we call them powertrain operating conditions uh, segments, right? And then the trucks goes into one of those buckets depending on usage. Okay. But it's more of a linear type of thing versus a versus tranche. So we can you can actually fluctuate between multiple of these depending on truck usage. So then it's the back end of that, the analytics behind the scenes, they're really optimizing and ensuring that each truck is in the most efficient and most appropriate bucket uh, as usage continues. I see. So that's, uh, I mean, it's looking at how you're driving it, how the applications, and it's kind of stacking you up against all these other applications yes. and all these other Volvo trucks that are rolling down yeah, the road. Yeah, different models that we have, right? And then also looking at then we dynamically adjust those. So it's not just about the spec of the truck. So the spec drives certain things. It puts it in the initial bucket, but then the actual usage is what then determines where it falls into the spectrum of these things. I see, I see. Um, one of the things that you noted in the, during the announcement that I really liked was that you found that fleets were over maintaining yes. trucks. Yes. How did you see that and what were the costs associated with that? Yeah, so what we see is then because people or we, we see the tend that we default into the traditional static mileage based intervals, mm -hmm. right? So you go into your 50,000 mile, 60,000 mile maintenance intervals, really determine that from, from an oil change level kind of thing, right? And then now when we see that, it's like, Okay, with the new all new VNL as an example, we can go up to ninety thousand miles. Oh wow! Okay. So imagine if you're stuck in your traditional thinking of I'm going to do sixty thousand because maybe it feels like it's easier to keep track of. I know it's all of these things, right? But you're leaving money on the table by not extracting and extending these oil drain intervals, as an example. So that's what we see is that it's more like conservative maintenance. Thus, we see it. I call it over maintaining these vehicles because you don't have to. Yeah. Well, and 90,000 miles, that's one of the highest that I've ever heard, like on the record. You yes, know what I mean? A yes, lot of times yeah. fleets will have their yeah. own oil analysis program and figure out their own oil right. drain intervals. But you're doing this through the, the AI adaptive uh, maintenance plan, right? Go, go, again, going back to application and usage. Is there, uh, is there a... Uh, a trust period, right? Because people, we like, we like our little uh, tranches. No. We yeah. like it. Yes. It's, it's it's regular. Yeah. I mean, how do you how do you tell people to, to get used to this and, and trust it a little? Yeah. Bit? Well, again, I think if we if we look at it then from from trusting and really trust and verify and backing that up, right? So it's again, when we have a Volvo service contract, a Blue service contract, then of course, if you follow those factory maintenance oh, recommendations, sure, yeah. there is no voiding of any warranty. We stand behind that full end to end. So it's a way to also earn that trust and build that trust with our customers as they feel you know i gotta extend these intervals and yeah it feels it may not feel right but it's certainly possible so uh, i mean definitely interesting that you're able to to analyze that with the adaptive maintenance and extend those oil drain intervals but is there, in the all new vnls or is there something on the oil side or engine side that's enabling those longer drain intervals as well yeah so when you go to a different spec oil like if you go to uh, VDS 5.0 oil, there's been tremendous advancements in just the whole lubrication. And that also then helps to safeguard and ensuring that these trucks and these engines can reach those really extended milestones that may sound a little bit uncomfortable for, for customers, right? I go from 60 to 90, that's a huge stretch. Mm -hmm. 
But then with the new oils, those that's really what enables those extended intervals. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's working with the dealer, right? Because then I feel like you've extended your dealer relationship here. They're getting more involved in the process. Can you tell me about what the dealer's role is in the uh, blue contract service? So really what we want to do is we want to make sure that our dealers build this real partnership with our customers, right? Mm -hmm. Who is better to maintain and look after exactly what's going on is our dealers with the relationship we have our customers. Mm -hmm. Our uptime center is still there. We've got 24-7, 365 coverage, but also with the blue service contracts, we're asking our dealers to have a dedicated fleet manager that's looking after these trucks. Okay. Right? But that person, they may not have 24-hour uh, coverage. Oh, sure. So then that can roll over to our uptime center in Greensboro. So they really complement oh, each I other see. in terms of how we have that initial relationship with the dealer. And then we have the after hour sort of support. We can pivot into that uh, kind of support model as well. Okay, so then at the dealer, this fleet manager, they're looking at all the data. They're man basically managing the maintenance program that fleets are signing up for and being kind of like a almost concierge Absolutely. service. Absolutely, that, that okay. is exactly what we're wanting to do. Yeah. Interesting. How do you keep these plans flexible? I know you have the adaptive maintenance part, and that's kind of putting that when you need to come in and what you need to do, right? But for fleets in different applications of different sizes with different needs, how are they able to tailor these plans and make it work for them? Yeah. So really, so if you look at it, what we offer from Volvo Trucks is what we believe then is the factory recommended maintenance intervals that need to happen. So that's what we cover, and that's what we back up. Now, if you operate the fleet, you may want to add other things, right? You may want to add your DOT inspections, you may want to add other maintenance intervals. You may have other, um, I call them, bolt-on features on the truck that we don't uh, necessarily cover and support. But right. then we can bake that into the contract, into the structure. Uh, the dealer may offer a pickup and delivery. I want to okay. be able to do those types of things. I want to cool. add a truck wash every time a truck comes in. Right. Again, it's really about customizing what can we do to uh, really help meet our customers' needs. And then you bake that into one easy type of payment so that you have a flat cost and you distribute that over the duration of the contract. Yeah, really interesting. Well, and again, if you're if you're maintaining your trucks correctly, now you're doing it in a very active, almost kind of real time with the data coming in, very uh, unique way, powered by AI. This is trucking sustainably, of course, but uh, if you're maintaining your trucks, they're running more efficiently, they're being more sustainable out on the road. So very cool. Thanks for yeah. taking the time. Thank you.